Hi there, thanks for joining us on this video series on Cubase AI and LE. Now in this video series, we're gonna cover a few really important things. Firstly, how to download and activate your software. Then we're gonna look at how you connect devices into your computer and of course into Cubase. Then, well, we're into the most important thing and that is making sure that you're creating, recording, producing and mixing music. There's no point in having this gear if you're not enjoying using it. And by the end of this video series, I wanna see that you're creating music and getting it right out there into the big old world. Let's go and jump in. Cubase AI and LE come packaged with other hardware. And inside the box, you might find this piece of paper. Down the bottom of this piece of paper, you'll find your download access code and a link to go and download the software. But before you download the software, follow the links to My Steinberg. If you've used a Steinberg product before, chances are you may already have a My Steinberg account. If not, create a new account with an email address that you have access to and enter the password. Tick these three boxes if you wish to receive marketing material from Steinberg and more information on upgrades and tutorial videos on how to use the software. Now that you've created the My Steinberg account, Go to the email account that you entered and check for the activation email. Let's go back to my Steinberg and log in with those details that we entered before. If you've got Steinberg hardware, you can register it here. In the meantime, let's get that download access code or activation code ready. If you're not sure where to find your code, click on this link here for some useful information on where you can find the code. And don't forget, this comes bundled with a number of different products. So it could be in a number of different places. Once you've got the code, carefully enter it manually or you can copy and paste it if you received it in an email. As soon as you've entered the code, you can easily download the software. And now it's just a matter of choosing your operating system between Mac or PC. Once you start the download, it may take a little time depending on the speed of your internet because it's quite a large file with lots of content that we're actually downloading here. There's the software that we've just registered. Click on it for some more information. The next process is to activate the software. So click on the link for more information on how you get your activation code. Because we've registered with a download access code, our activation code is already generated and it's right here ready for us to get started. And I'm going to copy this so that I can enter it into the eLicenser Control Center once I've finished installing the software. Double click on the disk image icon to install the software. If you need to read some further information, there's a handy readme guide inside this folder. But for now, let's proceed with the installation. It's a matter of just following the installation guide, reading the terms and conditions if you want and accepting those. Now it's a matter of just waiting for the software to install and it will take some time because it's installing quite a number of different files. As part of the Cubase installation, the eLicenser Control Center has also been installed. And the first time we install it, you should run the maintenance tasks. You could also run this if you ever have any issues activating or starting Cubase. It can take a few moments, but it is there to help clean up any potential issues. Once we've done, you can see the soft e-licenser over on the left-hand side. So let's select that from the list. Go up to enter activation code and it's time to copy and paste or carefully enter your activation code into the slot there. Now you can simply download the license. And once again, downloading the license may take a few moments. So be patient while it downloads. As soon as this license has downloaded, we're ready to start using Cubase. It's that easy. The next time you log into My Steinberg, you'll be able to see your license there and see exactly when it was activated. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe to this channel for plenty more videos on how you can use Cubase. I'll see you there.